Hey you guys, recently I got a new gecko and it's something I've been waiting for for a long, long time. I explained the backstory in the first however many minutes of the video, that's why it's so long because there's a lot you need to know about how I got Viserion, um, what type of morph he is and why that morph is problematic. So if you're not interested in learning anything about that, which is completely fine, I will leave a timestamp at the right here somewhere on this bottom and you can go ahead and skip ahead and just see the unboxing however i encourage you to watch that first however many minutes because knowing where i got him from uh knowing why he has a tumor on his jaw knowing about his morph is very important to why i got him so without further ado i'm very very excited to reveal viserion the lemon frost leopard gecko please enjoy it's 8:43. AM and I am waiting for the arrival of Viserion, who is a lemon frost. And while I'm waiting, I should probably explain how I came across having a lemon frost in the first place. So what is a lemon frost? A lemon frost is a leopard gecko morph, a leopard gecko morph that came from a mutation. Lemon frosts are absolutely gorgeous. They have this really like pale, bright yellow coloring. It's not like anywhere close to tangerine on its own. It's just like a really baseline yellow but it's bright and then it's like a very white underbelly sometimes the yellow like bleeds in like making this really strange pigment and then the dominating factor of what a lemon frost is is the eye gene and that's um like really hard to explain it's really cool looking um but that's where the name comes from frost because their eyes look like ice like they're gorgeous and then the lemon for their yellow body so lemon frost the first time i ever saw lemon frost was in october of 2016. i went to narbc tinley park they had lemon frosts there and i saw one go for auction for like 2200 dollars to an asian man unfortunately uh last year around this time the lemon frosts were discovered to be a very problematic morph and even so, people still breed them, which we'll get to, but the reason they're problematic is because they have cancerous tumors and they can get them all over the place. They can get them in their face, in their neck, they can get them in their head, in their bodies, they can get them in their organs, the tissues, anywhere, anywhere. So a lot of them who have presented tumors have been euthanized and uh, have been studied um really sad stuff uh so people who are like an honorable breeder have not been breeding them and will not breed them <sighs> but there are plenty of people who have been there have also been breeders in the u.s who are like no i don't breed them in frost and then breed them on the hush hush and ship them overseas where breeding lemon frost happens more i believe that happens more in uh, asian countries but i can't say for sure because obviously i'm not from asian countries but it does appear that lemon frosts are a pretty regular thing over there now not like regular like as like a normal morph but they are seen pretty regularly uh, for sale and the most annoying thing in the whole wide world is that lemon frosts have got to the point where they're crossed with enigma where they're crossed with white and yellow and white and yellow can be fine it's just some lines that are not great but i have to wonder if people who breed lemon frost probably have bad white and yellow lines because they don't care about ethics or clean lines so <sighs> this year i saw a lemon frost that was an enigma lemon frost white and yellow mix and my first thinking was how despicable how despicable do you have to be? Anyways, in fact, I was actually part of a genetics Facebook group, like a leopard gecko genetics Facebook group, and the hostility there, unreal. Like when the lemon frost thing happened, that's how they were keeping people updated about what was exactly wrong with them. Because at first it was just like, how many of the specimens have tumors? Is it just a lemon frost or is it also crosses with other morphs, blah, blah, blah. So someone had commented something about, you know, it's just as bad to breed enigmas as it is lemon frost. And I was like, you, you damn right. And when I commented that, people did not like it, um, including the admins. So I was like, screw it. I'm, I'm done getting all this like horrible notifications from people. So I deleted my comments. And then I got a very upset message from one of the admins saying, you are not allowed to delete your messages. It's in the rules. So I went to the rules and it's not in the rules. But yes, that is why I'm not part of Facebook groups. They are toxic, disgusting, whatever. But anyways, that's where I first learned of the issue about lemon frost a year ago. So ever since then, I have really wanted a pet only lemon frost, not only to make sure that it's never bred, 
but also to study its longevity. People don't often keep them as pets if they have tumors, they'll euthanize them and have they've been used for research, or people are still using them as breeders. And when you breed a uh, lemon frost, especially if it's a female, because breeding females takes a lot out of them, then you're not really going to get the proper understanding of how long a lemon frost can actually live in proper husbandry, you know, complete health aside from the tumors, that sort of thing. So I've wanted lemon frost for a little while now, but the availability is just really not there. Uh, they're still being sold for, you know, breeding purposes. They're kind of hard to get a hold of, especially if you're not willing to pay for it because I refuse to pay for problematic morphs and so that means I'm not paying for a lemon frost. I was doing an Instagram Q&A, story time, whatever, like the little story that you have on Instagram, you could put a little question box and uh, ask people and ask you questions or whatever. Um, so people are asking me questions and someone asked me what morph I'd love to have and I listed lemon frost as one of them without really giving it a lot of thought. And then someone commented back, like, you really want a lemon frost? And I was like, yeah, I really want a lemon frost. And it was a young man, I believe it was a young man now, it's been a long time since this happened, but I'll explain that. So. It was a young man who said that he knew of a breeder who did not breed the lemon frost but had him and wanted to rehome him with another one of the geckos that like he was selling because the young man had wanted to buy a gecko. So that didn't happen for him and he said you should reach out to that person and get the lemon frost which is what, exactly what I did. I reached out to the person who had the lemon frost and I said this person says this and says you have a lemon frost can I have the lemon frost? And from there, it, yes, it went well, obviously, because I'm getting the lemon frost. Um, but because of the distance, so they're in Vegas, the temperature there was too warm to be shipped for a while, so I had to wait all this time. I had to wait over a month. I'm getting really itchy right now. Awesome, fantastic. Also, my face is really, really red because I exfoliated yesterday. So I'm like literally, like I am the color of my hair. Look how pink I am. But anyway, I just thought you should notice why my nose is so red and my cheeks are so red and my chin is so red because my face is very sensitive to exfoliation. So anyways, now I stand here waiting for my lovely Viserion. Oh, and by the way, I named him Viserion because he's a lemon frost. So he is the beautiful yellow color and Viserion the dragon is golden white, I believe, golden cream. For those who don't know, Viserion's a dragon for Game of Thrones. I name all my geckos after Game of Thrones characters. If you didn't know, I, I find that hard to believe by now. But if you didn't know, there you go. Um, and also, because he is a uh, lemon frost, you know, he's got the, the icy thing going on. I won't spoil it for anyone, but there's a connection there too. If you still haven't seen the last season, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? But anyways, this has been eight minutes of talking. I'm sorry if this bored you endlessly. Uh, but I wanted to explain the situation because you can't just run out and get a lemon frost. Just, you gotta know people, you gotta talk to people, you gotta have some sort of, like, I don't know. I could never find a lemon frost, like, when I was actively looking for them. And I reached out to people, but there were skeevy people who apparently are still breeding lemon frosts. Oh, and something you should know about Viserion is he actually does already have a tumor, unfortunately. He has a tumor on the underside of his jaw. He turned a year old in September, I believe. I have to go check the messages again just to be sure. But he got the tumor sometime in, I think it was April of this year. So he wasn't even close to a full year old. He was like half a year old and he already had a tumor. Doesn't bode well. But, um, you know, it really is an unknown because I don't know anyone who keeps a gecko that has a tumor. Like, as a pet, I don't know anyone who does. And he's healthy, he's nice and thick, and he eats, and all that good stuff, so... I'm going to... Oh! Why, hello, little spider! Oh my god, you move fast! Oh, I'm gone. Please don't jump on me. I... Please don't jump on me. I don't mind spiders, but I don't like the idea of them being on me, so that's why this makes me nervous. And now I'm looking for another. Anyway, so I think I'm going to... Uh, have him have elective x-rays uh, maybe once every six months I'm not sure yet but I'm gonna have to talk to the vet and see what she thinks sorry I'm very anxious because of the spider <laughs> um, but yeah I want to make sure that if he is having any internal tumors that we know about them as soon as possible I don't want him to suffer or be in any pain or lose the quality of life depending on where the tumors are but then again the oh my god the longevity I'm gonna stay over here 
<laughs> the longevity is unknown, like I said. It looks like I have a sunburn. Oh my god. I can't think straight because this spider, cute cute little thing it is, okay? I don't want it on me, so I'm gonna have to go. I will come back. I'm, uh... Do you see him? Or her? I shouldn't assume it's gender. But do you see? Do you see? Look how fast it moves. Oh my god. It's so itty bitty and I'm, I don't hate it, but you. So that took like a really long time, like <laughs> I feel like I waited for like a half hour. I don't even know what time it is to be honest and I can't check because I'm recording with my phone. But uh, here's the box. Point the blade away from my face. Jackson, no honey, I have a blade. And here we go, cutting. Don't want to show my address so I will not show the top of the box. Oh, you might notice some minor Halloween decorations behind you behind me behind you and by the time this goes up you probably would have already seen the pet room tour that's halloweeny so if you haven't checked that out i'm like really anxious i feel like for some reason something's wrong i don't know if it's because i've been waiting for a lemon frost for so long but i feel like something's wrong like a tail dropping or something i don't know Someone on Instagram today was like, yay, I can't wait to see your bare face at 6 a.m. standing in front of your window. You got me. I definitely do that. He's fine. Hi. Oh, you defecated. That's gonna smell really bad. I know, I know, honey. Hi. Oh, you really did do some, do a number of poo-poos. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't wanna open this. It's gonna smell so bad. Here, you sit down, Jackson. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. All right, let me see if I can... I'll get you out, and then we'll try and get some paper towel for you. I know, I know. It's okay. Come on out. I'm not even on camera. Wow. I'm a terrible YouTuber. Anyway, this is Viserion. Look at those eyes. You look like you're wearing makeup. You look prettier than me. Come on out. Come on out. No, you don't want to come out? Come on. I know you had a very stressful day, honey. Oh, it's stinky. <laughs> if you've ever opened one of these and they've pooped, it's a bad smell. Hi. You're pretty calm, huh? You're pretty calm. You're a pretty big boy, too. Hi, hey, Jackson. You wanna come out and get out of that nasty poop cup? No? Come here, let's get you out of the poop cup. Yeah, this is nasty. This is defecate cup. Defa cup. Yeah, you don't want to be in there anymore. No, you don't. You want to be all over my hands. Give me your defecation. Okay. Good boy. Good, I know. Arching his back. He smells like poo poo. You got some on your eye. You got some on your tail, Jackson. Please sit down, honey. So this is Viserion. A gorgeous, beautiful lemon frost boy. His name by his former owner was Barry B. Benson, which is the B from the B movie, which I've never seen, but I love the memes of. I know. Yep, I can see that little tumor. Yeah, it's definitely big from underneath. It doesn't look so big from the side, huh? Come here. There you go. Just sit in this hand. We'll get some of that defecation off. I just don't want you to have to have your poo-poos on you. See if I can get the focus on him. He won't like turn his head towards the camera though. Yes, look how beautiful you are. Oh, what a gorgeous boy. You getting some of my warmth? Well, you're very easy coming out of the box. We just gotta get this poo-poo off you. Wish I had something to, to wet this. The spray bottle's up there. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll have to do it off camera, like I did with Egret, who also pooped. I know, sorry, I want to get the poop fleck off your face. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right, it wasn't nice of me. Did you get poo poo on your tail? I wish it would focus on him, he's, <laughs> he's beyond words stunning. Yes, you are beyond words stunning. And very calm, but that's because he's getting warm. Oh my god, this whole clip I've had the fan on. Oh, that's... That's annoying. I had it for the last clip, too. 
Sorry guys, the fan makes noises, but it is hot in here. Because it was 80 degrees yesterday in Indiana, and it's going to be 80 degrees again today. Well, it was 84 actually yesterday, 85 today. Sorry about the fan, you guys. Man, see, I'm not, I'm not a YouTuber first, okay? I'm just this, like, goofy pet person first who doesn't think to turn fans off and have good camera quality or put makeup on or anything like that. See if I can get you guys a look at his tumor. So it's that bump right there. They get this strange cloudy whitish yellow pigment on their underside and that's where his tumor is and he has some of that pigment on the other side so I'm wondering if he'll also develop a tumor there. Oh my god, uh, there's another spider in here! Ooh, it's crawling across the floor. Mm, no thank you, please stay over there. Like if you don't come near me, we're square, but please don't come near me because I will not respond rationally. Oh, I can't see the spider anymore and that makes me very anxious. Oh my god, it went under Jackson. Oh, please don't bite Jackson. Please don't walk on Jackson. He's just beautiful. Look at him. My goodness. You're just so stunning. You're just so stunning. Sorry I keep itching my nose. It's because, like, I have really bad allergies right now because the weather has jumped back up and the allergies are just <laughs> great. My ears are itchy. My nose is itchy. My eyes are itchy. I'm going to go put this little guy in his house. I'm going to go put him in his house. And, um, then I'm going to show you guys where he's chilling right now. His house is ugly. Uh, he has a repti hammock. And he's going to be getting some cork bark this weekend when I go to NARBC, Tinley Park. Hope to see some of you there. Obviously, this comes out after Tinley Park. So, if I saw you, hello. Starting to act alert. Oops, sorry. I bumped you in the face, didn't I? I need to pick up some cork bark at NARBC bad. I need cork bark because I upgraded the enclosures and they have more space. I need cork bark because I love cork bark. <laughs> so, I'm going to be getting some of that at NARBC. And then also while I'm in NARBC, I'm going to be picking up three animal friends. They're itty bitty, but they're adorable. Wow, he's like the calmest dude ever. You're so calm. Watch, now that I say that, he's going to like jump out of my hands or something. If he does, he'll lay into my lap, but still. And there's still also one more gecko to go after this. There's still one more. She's going to go down in that spot over there. You can kind of see it where my arm is. Um, her name is Roz. And... She is an enigma with enigma syndrome. I think she's also a white and yellow. Well, welcome home. Here you will know nothing but the deliciousness of hornworms and superworms and mealworms and dubias if you prefer. What else will you know while you are here? Oh, you'll be living right beneath Liana and right above Jojen and you'll be right next to Egret. So you have good company. Liana is a lovely psychopath. And Jojen is a very shy boy, but he's very sweet. And Egret, oh my god, the most personable baby gecko I've ever known. Actually, I just got Egret a couple weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, I will include it in the links below. But Egret is just a lovely baby gecko. And so yeah, you've got good roommates. And by roommates, I mean they live next door. They don't live together. But yeah, you've got good roommates in Egret, Liana, and Jojen. And if you really want to stretch it, you live like catty cornered to Sam and Gilly and to Brianne and Renly and to um, Marcella and Benjamin. Now Marcella is a lot like Liana, except she's a little bit sweeter. She can be a little testy. Liana is a lot less active than Marcella as well. But Benjamin, he's a good guy. You'd like Benjamin. Benjamin's really sweet. Hard to dislike him at all. He eats pretty well lately too, so he's a little thick boy. He's bigger than you, I think. Well, longer. I don't know if he's thicker than you. Listen to me sit here and talk about my geckos as if they're next door neighbors for this actual gecko. Oh my god. Do you think I'm a crazy person, Viserion? Because if you don't now, you soon will. So he's starting to get pretty active. I'm gonna go put him in his house after cleaning some poo poos off of him. And then he's gonna have some time to chill and get warm and also have access to his humid hide. I still have to give him a bowl of water and a bowl of calcium, but those are just sitting in the closet waiting, so it's no big deal. But um, I think I'm going to let him chill instead of filming him right away because he's starting to get pretty active. So I'm going to let him like, you know, really get settled in and then I'll record the clip. I think. I'm not 100% sure yet. He's being really active now. Wee! Gecko treadmill! Alright, I'm going to go put him home.
I know, sorry it's a very boring house right now, Viserion, but I'm not getting cork bark until Sunday, so it'll make do for now. Like he's like, ah, this is warm. <laughs> Yes. All right, I'm gonna let you settle in, buddy. Say goodbye to everyone for now. Yay, he did it! Good job, buddy! Yay, good job! First meal at the house! Okay, you're not in focus! What is that about? My hand is so shaky, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> He's so cute though.
Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy to have Viserion and I hope that you guys were happy to meet him. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. And if you want to, leave a comment down below. I love getting back to you guys in the comment section. Also, please check the links below for social media, Patreon, merchandise, and email. All kinds of stuff. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.